chapter 4 quadratic equations. Standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. Quadratic equation means second degree equation. So, it is a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 is the standard form of a quadratic equation in which a, b and c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. Example 2, check whether the following are quadratic equations or not. The first question is x minus 2 whole square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. So, x minus 2 whole square is of the form a minus b whole square. a square minus 2 a b plus b square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. So, x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. So, x square minus 4x, we can take this 2x the side, minus 2x plus 5 plus 3 equal to 0. So, x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. So, it is a quadratic equation x square minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. Second question is x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2. So, open this bracket x square plus x plus 8 is equal to this is of the form a plus b into a minus b. So, a square minus b square. So, x square plus x plus 8 is equal to x square minus 4. We can cancel both these x squares. So, what you are getting is x plus 8 is equal to minus 4. Not a quadratic equation. Next is x plus 2 whole cube is equal to x cube minus 4. So, this is of the form a plus b whole cube. So, a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus, plus b cube a plus b whole cube a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube is equal to x cube minus 4. So, we can cancel these two remaining as 6 x square plus 4 3 is a 12 12 x plus 8 is equal to minus 4 6 x square plus 12 x plus 8 plus 4 equal to 0. So, it is 6 x square plus 12 x plus 12 equal to 0. So, this is a quadratic equation and this is in the standard form. Here we have applied a plus b whole cube. And we got this as x cube plus 3 x square into 2 plus 3 x 2 into 2 square plus 2 cube is equal to x cube minus 4. So, after simplification we got 6 x square plus 12 x plus 12 equal to 0. So, it is a quadratic equation. Then exercise 4.1 second question represent the following situations in the form of a quadratic equation. First subdivision 
the area of a rectangle plot is 528 meters square the length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth we need to find the length and breadth the first sentence is area is given as 528 meters square length of the plot is one meter more than its more than twice its breadth so length is given in terms of breadth so we have to suppose breadth let x meter be the breadth of the rectangle here the length is one more than twice its breadth length is given in terms of its breadth so we have to suppose the breadth let x meter be the breadth of the rectangle so length is equal to one meter more one more than twice its breadth breadth is x so 2x length is one meter more than twice its breadth so area is given as 528 so clearly it is length into breadth so x into 2x plus 1 is equal to 528 x into 2x plus 1 is equal to 528 so 2x square plus x is equal to 528 so 2x square plus x minus 528 equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation here the question is area is given as 5 528 meter square length is given one more than twice its breadth so 1 plus 2x and the area is given as 528 so x into 2x plus 1 is equal to 528 after simplification we are getting 2x square plus x minus 528 equal to 0. Next question, second subdivision. The product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. We need to find the integers. So the consecutive means difference is 1. So let x and x plus 1 be the numbers be the two consecutive numbers so x into x plus 1 is equal to the product of two consecutive numbers is 306 so x into x plus 1 is equal to 306 so x square plus x is equal to 306 so x square plus x minus 306 equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation then the third question Rohin's mother is 26 years older than him Rohin's mother is 26 years older than him the product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360 we would like to find Rohin's present age Rohin's mother is 26 years older than him that means mother's age is given in terms of Rohin's age Rohin's mother is 26 years older than him so suppose let x years be Rohin's present age x years be Rohin's present age so mother's present age is equal to Rohin's mother is 26 years older. So, x plus 26.
next sentence is the product of their ages in years 3 years from now the product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360 3 years from now means after 3 years after 3 years Rohan's age is equal to present age is x so after 3 years it is x plus 3 and mother's age after 3 years mother's age is equal to present age is x plus 26 plus 3 which is equal to x plus 29 and what is given us the product of their ages is 360 so x plus 3 into x plus 29 is equal to 360 So, it is x square plus 29x plus then 3, 3 into x, 3x plus 3 into 29 is equal to 360. This is of the form a plus b into c plus d, a plus b into c plus d. So, it is x into x, x square x into 29, 29x, 3 into x, 3x, then 3 into 29 is equal to 360. So, x square plus 32x plus 87 is equal to 360. So, x square plus 32x plus 87 minus 360 equal to 0. So, it is x square plus 32x minus 273 equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. So, mother's age is given in terms of Rohin's age and mother's present age is 26 years more than Rohin's age. So, we, what we have supposed is let x be Rohin's age. So, mother's present age is x plus 26 and what is given is the relation given is after 3 years the product of their ages is will be after 3 years the product of their ages will be 360. So, Rohin's age after 3 years is x plus 3 mother's age after 3 years is x plus 29 and product of this is 360. So, finally, we got x square plus 32x minus 273 equal to 0. The fourth subdivision, a train travels a distance of 480 kilometer at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km per hour less, it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find the speed of the train. So, we need to find the speed of the train. So, we can, we can suppose this as let x km per hour be the speed of the train. Let x kilometer per hour be the speed of the train. Sentence is a train travels the distance of a distance of 480 kilometer at a uniform speed. So the distance given us 480 kilometer. Distance given us 480 kilometer. If the speed had been 8 kilometer per hour less it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. So, what is the time taken to cover the distance of 480 with the uniform speed a x kilometer per hour. So, 
speed is equal to distance by time. So we need to get time. So time taken for the first is distance divided by speed. Here the distance is 480, 480 divided by x. So let x kilometer per hour be the speed of the train and distance is constant 480 kilometer and speed is equal to distance by time. Here we need to find the time because the relation given in terms of time. If the speed had been 8 kilometer per hour less then would it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. So this is the time taken for the first case it is 480 by x. Then second case is the speed had been 8 kilometer per hour less. So new speed is equal to 8 kilometer per hour less. So x minus 8 kilometer per hour. x minus 8 kilometer per hour. So the time taken t2 is same distance 480 divided by x minus 8. The second case it takes speed is less. Speed less means uh, time taken will be more. So the second case 480 by x minus 8. So what is given us? Time taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. So the, what is given us T2 minus T1 is equal to 3. The difference between both of these is 3. So clearly this is greater because speed is less means time taken will be more. So 480 divided by x minus 8 minus 480 divided by x is equal to 3. So we can take the LCM here. So x, x into x minus 8. 480x minus 480 into x minus 8 is equal to 3. So we can take out 480 from here. 480 into x minus x plus 8 divided by x into x minus 8 is equal to 3. So it is 480 into 8 is equal to 3x into x minus 8. So, three thousand eight hundred and forty is equal to three x square minus twenty four x. So, three x square minus twenty four x minus three thousand eight hundred and forty equal to zero. This is the required quadratic equation. Homework exercise 4.1 first question.